Hi, my name is Stacy Curtis and I'm the illustrator of Once Upon a Tim. I would like to thank you for including Once Upon a Tim on the Texas Blue Bonnet Master List. That is a really great honor and awesome. So today I'm gonna to answer a few questions. Question number one, how did you start your career as an illustrator? Well, ever since I was a little kid, I loved to draw, loved to read. I loved going to the library and getting books with lots of illustrations and cartoons and drawings in them. And as soon as I graduated college, I became the editorial cartoonist at a newspaper. And when the opportunity presented itself, I decided I was gonna change careers and change paths and become an illustrator of children's books. So I got an agent, I did some sample drawings and my agent sent those drawings to publishers. And a little while later, I got my first job illustrating a book. And from there, I've illustrated about 40 books for children so far, and that's how I started. Question number two, how closely did you work with author Stuart Gibbs on Once Upon a Time? What may surprise you to know that I've never met Stuart Gibbs face to face and Stuart and I have never talked on the phone to each other. Stuart left art notes in the manuscript of Once Upon a Time when he was thinking about things from his imagination that I may not know about, such as a lion that has two heads and stinks and it's called a stinks. I sent my sketches to the publisher, the publisher shared them with Stuart, and Stuart then was able to see if we're on the same page about what was in his head. So Stuart would look at the sketches and if they were a little off, but surprised him, it stayed in the book. And if the sketch was nothing compared to what he was thinking in his head, and it just didn't seem right, I redid the sketch. So even though Stuart and I have never talked face to face or on the phone, we did work pretty closely on the book. Question number three, what book inspired you as a child? Well, like I said, our parents took us to the library once a week and we were allowed to get books. So one of the books that stuck with me forever is this book called Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion and illustrated by Margaret Bloy Graham. I love this book. I love the art, white dog, black dog, Back to White Dog, spoiler alert. And I also love the story, love this book. One of the series that I liked when I was a kid, the Fudge series by Judy Bloom. Love this book, I love how funny the story is. It really inspired me to see that children's books could be funny, they could be entertaining and have a great story. Also, one of the books that really inspired me as a child Charlotte's Web, E.B. White, illustrated by Garth Williams. Love this book, love the story, and I really, really, really love the illustrations. Great book. Also, my parents took us to used bookstores, and at the used bookstores, I would save my allowance so I could buy these little Peanuts books. Paperbacks, pretty cheap. Loved them. I would read them from front to back. I've read this book a million times. I have lots and lots of these books. I still have the books I bought when I was a kid. That's how much I like them. So those are the books that inspired me as a kid. I really loved reading and I still do. Question number four. What is the best reaction you've ever received for any of your illustrations? Well, I've won some awards for my book illustrations, such as this National Cartoonist Society Award. I've also traded art with other illustrators. And I love that. And I also love it when somebody buys some of my art. They like it so much that they want to buy it. But my number one favorite reaction for any of my art is when I'm at a school visit and I draw live in front of the kids. I absolutely love it. Kids get quiet. They are so amazed at the, my ability to draw. And I absolutely love that because I, I work in a studio alone all day. I get none of that reaction, but that is amazing to me. I love that reaction. The fifth and final question. 
What advice would you give to our young authors and illustrators as they learn to improve their skills? Well, if you want to be an author, I'd say write every day. Practice makes perfect. And if you want to be an illustrator, I suggest carrying a sketchbook with you. Draw in it every day. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Doesn't have to be anything major. Just whatever comes to your head, just draw on it. I draw in a sketchbook every day. In the morning before I start my work, I take my sketchbook and I just make a doodle. Nothing fancy, just whatever happens to come into my head. And it gets my day started. It gets my brain going so I can get to work that day. And I love, love sketching. So practice makes perfect. Do your art, do your writing, and you'll just keep getting better and better. I just wanted to say thanks again for including Once Upon a Tim on the Texas Blue Bonnet Master List. I hope you've read the book. I hope you loved it. And thanks so much. It is a great honor.